Hey, you want to play Grand Theft Auto 3? Good. Then let's play. So as I've, uh, as I, as I said, I should say on the last video, uh, I noticed that uh, this, oddly enough, for a game that was released in 2001, it's actually getting some attention, which is uh, weird, but I'll take it. But uh, here's the thing, though, I, I don't actually. Because it says I have zero subscribers, but somebody was telling me that if they don't share their subscription publicly, it might not. I might not actually know about it. So I'm not sure actually how that works. So I don't know. If I do have a subscriber, I appreciate them uh, commenting, letting me know. <laughs> Is anybody watching? Maria and I have gone shopping. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. <clears throat> we can certainly do... Oops. Oh yeah, fair. you can go around hang around in uh, Supa's little condo here. Nice place. Ooh, it is covered with a tarp, though. That is not nice. I don't think uh, Claude Speed's really the kind of guy who would go swimming, though. You know, doesn't seem like a swimming guy to me. Alright. So, should be getting GTA 5 tomorrow. I'm uh, very much looking forward to that. Plan that. Obviously, it will not be recorded because I'm having to play it on my uh, console, my PS3. I don't have a PS4 yet. Um, but uh, I started a new job recently that uh, should allow me to uh, make enough money to get one, so hopefully that'll save up some money soon. It is Mother's Day today, well, as a recording. Well, not today. Mother's Day is actually over now. But uh, it is. Uh, it was Mother's Day about two hours ago. So I would like to, uh, you know, if you got a mother out there, if you, have, if you have your mother out there, go and... Uh, Wish her happy Mother's Day. Alright. Well, I think we just gotta chase this guy down or something. As I recall. Oh, it's wrong way. Oh. Oh, shit. I forgot this. Oh, shit. No, oh, you bastards. Get out of here. Oh shit, I don't have my freaking uh, Uzi, that's why I wasn't doing any damage to him. Should've brought my flat, flat bed. Fuck. Oh shit. No, get out of the car. Huh? Oh! Okay. Man, the SWAT team, you know you done... You know, you, you done goofed from the SWAT teams after your ass. You really know you done goofed when you get the military on you. That's when you know you're in trouble. Well, you guys get out of here. Oh, get it on the trail. There we go. Oh my. Yep, yeah, definitely should have brought the flatbed. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get so killed. Oh, shit. I didn't think to buy any weapons. Because I am dumb. I'm so dead. Yeah, just hit me. Hit me. Kill me. <laughs> Screw you. Would be wise gay. Okay, I'm gonna, uh. Not start the mission right away. I'm gonna go find a uh, a weapon, an Uzi. I'm not sure where the ammunition is. All right, so we just uh, went over. To, I just went over to ammunition in Portland because, like I said, don't really know where the ammunition is in uh, the other. My car is gone. Alright, so now we actually have... This is Head Radio. 
a uh, ability to deal some damage via Uzi. Went across the bridge, Portland, and got the uh, the Uzi over there. Like I said, I'm not familiar with what the ammunition is in Staten Island. I know Portland extremely well. Staten Island, eh, not so much. <laughs> so, head back over. What the hell? Okay. This would be a lot easier if I had a rocket launcher, huh? <laughs> it would definitely be a lot easier. Just blow him up. Where'd my grenade? But actually, I think he just. Oh, what the hell? That's bullshit. I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Did it fetch you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating to in the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe it's free? Alright, we almost got him. I think we did it. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Oh, don't screw me over. Get him. Got him. There we go. So that was a, uh... <laughs> that was a bit of bullshit. I don't know why I had a hard time with that one. I usually don't. I don't know. That one was rather unlucky. That was the last of Asuka's missions. Thanks. Yeah, so we got Ray and Kenji that we can do missions for. I'm gonna go ahead back over and just uh, start up Kenji's missions actually. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with the situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. Ayakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. <coughs> okay. So we need to steal a cop car. Which www.lovemedia.tv is tougher than it Ooh, sounds. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, um, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Obviously, because if you try to carjack a police officer, like we tried to carjack that police car back there, we would uh, I think get an automatic two-star wanted level. So, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut down the schools, shut down the problem. No more dead teachers, no more angry dudes. Well, but you don't think. And that's an automatic two star wanted level, which is harder to get rid of than a one star wanted level. Because a one star wanted level, basically, if you just drive far enough away, at some point they'll just kind of like forget about you and say, eh, screw it. Two star wanted levels, uh, not quite the case. I think we can find our way to a police station. If we can make our way to a police station, we should be able to find a cop car that's hanging out there. Or if I, could, if I knew where a police store was. That's kind of interesting up here. Before we get started here. See you in Miami. Uh, obviously the next game takes place in Vice City, which is clearly supposed to be Miami, sort of that general area. So, let's 
kind of funny. Whether that was a purpose or not, I, I, I don't know, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, there we go. Shoreside Vale, Mainland. Close to traffic. Yeah, we can't cross that. Oh, man, I wish I knew. Hang on. What is that effect? That's a woman, sir. Hmm. Let's see. Get a cop. We can steal a cop car away from a cop. Could, oh, look at this. We could uh, drive up through that wanted star, but it'd be tough. We'd have to find a cop. So let's wait for a cop car to spawn. Let's see. We can just find a cop car to hit. That'll get us a wanted star. And then we could steal the car. Uh, that's a taxi. Uh, that's a dude. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, uh, That's well, not like that I want to see the decorations. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there's so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that last one? Uh, yes. Oh, wow, I'm on the radio. Wait, 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 is that a cop? Yeah, it is. All right, so if we just... Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? We oh, will get no star. <laughs> Bump him? Why is he not? Uh, not really. What's your problem? name? What did you call about? Uh, uh, Alright, let's try it again. Bump him? There we go. Drive away. Oh, he just ran over. Someone looking to get dusty? Woo! <laughs> well, that was lucky. Alright, so we need to get to 8 ball. And then we'll rig it. Yeah, the way. Pacifist. Alright. Now, this is the incorrect way. <laughs> I thought it may have been, but I thought maybe I could get away with it. Oh, let's see. Alright. We need to take a turn down this way. Yeah. There we go. It's right up here. There it is. Okay. Now go to the police station. Simple enough. At least I'll find out where the police station is. Which I was curious about. Don't hit me. There we go. Ah, so it's down this way, huh? Alright, fair enough. Here? Ah. Ah, yeah, now I remember. Come on. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to go pay in for aren't we? Should have brought another car in here. 
It's funny, you only get three stars for a jailbreak. <laughs> oh shit. We do not need this. Get this car. Get in. Don't care if it's stolen. The Sentinel. And head on back to Bane Spray. Cops are waiting for me. Oh, that was that was pretty good. Now let's see. I go up here. Oh shit! Get out of the way. Get repainted here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Get back in there. So, what's his rally about, Jeff? All right. Get him to the dojo. All right, just gotta drop this guy off. And we done. I love it. I love this guy. He just like speaks in hyperbole the whole time, and Lazarus like, "What the hell are you talking about? What's the rally about?" He doesn't. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff. I, I admire your passion, really. I do, but what should people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people. She's the one who's saying I knew something the other one. Only one thing on their mind. A chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. There we go. Alrighty. Head on back to Kenji's and uh, keep going. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is motor cars, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cars as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cars on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. Alright. Remember the cars have to be in mint condition. This is kind of an interesting... Alright, so that went terribly. <laughs> I tried to find that freaking car and I could not find it anywhere. Honestly, I just don't remember to deal with that. So we're going to try it again. I went to ammunition. I found an ammunition while I was driving and uh, stocked up on a bunch of weapons. I got a sniper rifle. I got a uh, Uzi with a bunch of ammo, as you can tell. And I got some lag spikes. And uh, I, got all, I got all kinds of stuff. So we're def definitely packing some heat these days. You know what? Uh, you know what I realized? I think that area where I was having trouble, that's where you're supposed to take the cars. <laughs> I'm really stupid. I just realized how freaking dumb I am. To not realize that. <laughs> that's okay. I did not tell you this was the Jaw Radio. What is wrong with you? Okay. Again, we have to be supremely careful. Because one ding. I don't think the mission ends, but uh, I think you have to get it uh, down at the pan spray or something. Which, 
You know, I'm thinking about it, there is a pay and spray, like, right there, where you gotta take the cars and stuff. Can you just do it there, I wonder? I don't know. Funny accent. I mean, I got something for him. Speak English. Okay. Car delivered. We have, uh, two more to go. Shouldn't have brought my personal car, I just realized. Alright. Let's get this. Now these cars can have dings on them, obviously. That's... that's okay. Okay. In the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Fuck. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high quality footwear. In nope. fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism. Okay. Car delivered. We got a minute to get the next one. I don't think this is gonna happen. <laughs> You're listening to Head Radio, the Rock of Liberty City. Unless we years. rock it back here. Which is seems unlikely. But unless it's terribly far away. Which it's not really, but I don't know. This doesn't seem like something that's. Don't tip. Come on, 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 come on. I don't think we're gonna make it. We're definitely not gonna make it unless we haul ass. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Haul ass. Yep, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, shit. We're not gonna make it. Shit. I think because I took my time on the last car. No, we're definitely not gonna make it. Alright. Well, hell. Okay, so. Boom. While we're here, let's grab this package. You don't really get anything for that, um, so far as I know, just, you know. Just, uh, hey, congratulations! You found all 100. I believe that's how it is. Alright, so here we are with the next Kenji mission. Deal steal. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interest in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! <laughs> Alrighty. A yardy Lots car? Monstrosity. Mine that is. is bigger. What's a yardy car? I don't remember. I honestly don't know. Alright, I had to look it up because uh, I don't honestly don't remember what the yardy cars look like, but uh, I guess it's a, a gang car that sometimes spawns around Belleville Park. So, yeah, I apologize for uh, having to look it up, but they gave me no indication, and uh, I don't have the time to keep checking every car, you know? So, sorry if that's, you know, something people don't like, but we've already committed to it. That's not it. So, I said it spawns usually around uh, Belleville Park. Oh, oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. This has got to be it. There we are. Alright, so that took some time to find. <laughs> Okay. So I got that, I gotta get this, uh... Okay! There we go. <clears throat> we got another mission from Kenji. Let's go ahead and do this last one. And, uh, and we'll call it. I don't know if this is actually the last one, but it's the last one I'll be doing. To be truly strong, it is important that you never feel weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Now, obviously, we will not meet him on this video, but I'm pretty sure that uh, we'll meet my favorite character in this game, Donald Love, in the next. Get off! Get off! In the next part. And that. I can't guarantee, but I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure. Don't remember how you meet Donald Love. I think you meet him through Ray. I'm not entirely mistaken. I think you meet him through Ray. Especially if you're in But again, could be incorrect. What the heck's going on here? Let's uh, grab this. Now, I don't remember the specifics here. But, um, you can be pretty certain, I suppose, that uh, something's gonna go wrong. It always does in GTA. Detchers, the Devil, and the Great Cavity Cover Up by Jake Bill. Are you doing, fool? I think he is. I suppose you're one of those people that some of my, uh... Soda makes you go crazy later what was that Diablo doing here? There we go. Some young gang just dragged up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of yakuza are you anyway? I'm not a yakuza. I'm just, I'm just working for him. I'm just muscle man. Punish the gang and retrieve the protection money. That is very, very, very doable. I'm Tony on Flashback FM. Alrighty. Here's one for people who were Head on over and punish. Sometimes you see those armored cars driving around on the street, you know. Sometimes weird things will spawn. I wish an ice cream van would spawn. I would totally jack an ice cream van and take it over to, uh, <laughs> the, um, freaking, wait, are they, 
Uh, I think they're all the way across over in Liberty, or Portland. I don't know why I want to be calling it Liberty. Are they in Liberty? Or Portland? Damn it, see I did it again. I'm pretty sure they're in Portland actually. Now that I think about it. They might be the Albuquerque. So it just occurred to me. But that's okay, we can just cross the Callahan Bridge and get over there. Alright, we had to get a new ride, but it's all good. It's alright, we can just drive through here and get... Well, we don't need it now. Alright, so these Diablos? I think they are. Probably are. What else would it be? This is Diablo Turf. Come on. Yeah, definitely Diablos. Alright. Guns don't kill people, death kills people. That's the doctor. Medical facts. Can we possibly hit them with this grenade? Come on, get him. Come on. Well, I'm lucky for them. Oh, come on. So Look at this guy. Alright, fuck this dude. Just die. I'm not screwing around with you. Right back to the casino. Take your Uzi ammo. Give me this. I need this more than you. My life depends on it. There we go. <clears throat> All right. We've made it back in one piece. This. Okay. Oh, and that is gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. I hope you have enjoyed. I thank you for watching. I've been FRG. This has been GTA 3. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.